Hello and welcome. We begin with Kenya, where the leader of a doomsday cult has been put on trial on charges of terrorism. The self-proclaimed pastor, Paul McKenzie, is under trial for the deaths of over 400 of his followers. He, along with 94 other co-defendants, appeared in a court in Mombasa as they faced charges of murder, manslaughter, torture and child abuse. Last year, the doomsday cult made headlines across the world after it came to be known as one of the worst cult-related massacres. Mackenzie, who was arrested in April last year, allegedly incited his followers to starve to death in order to meet Jesus. It was a tip-off that prompted the Kenyan authorities to search an 800-acre estate of Mackenzie's organization in the vast Shakohola forest in eastern Kenya's Malindi. The authorities first recovered four bodies. Digging up more, the area turned out to be a mass grave. The remains of more than 440 people have been discovered and exhumed so far. Autopsies carried out on 100 victims determined that the majority had died of starvation. But some, including children, had been strangled, beaten or suffocated. Court documents also reported that certain bodies had their organs removed. Only a small percentage of the victims have been identified and returned to their families. The incident was dubbed the Shakohala Forest Massacre. It is alleged that Mackenzie had set up an enforcer gang that was tasked with ensuring that no one broke their fast or left the forest hideout alive. Alongside him, 54 men and 40 women are also accused of the charges, but they all have pleaded not guilty. Hearings in the trial that began on Monday are due to run until the 11th of July and again from the 22nd to the 25th of July. A separate hearing in the manslaughter case is due to start in August. Prosecutors say they plan to call about 90 witnesses to testify as well as show physical and digital evidence. Paul McKenzie, a former taxi driver turned preacher, has had a history of extremism. In 2003, he set up his church but closed it and moved to Shakahola, what is deemed as an uninhabitable town. The massacre has raised questions on Kenya's law enforcement, on how McKenzie managed to evade the law despite his prominent profile and previous legal cases. Kenyan Human Rights Watchdog has said that the authorities could have avoided the massacre. They were slow to react to the rumors. Kenya's interior minister had last year accused the police of laxity in investigating the initial reports of starvation. In the aftermath, all security officers who were working in the coastal region were transferred. Kenyan President William Ruto also set up a commission of inquiry to review the regulations governing religious bodies. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.
Hello and welcome to First Call of America. I'm Eric Hamm, coming to you live from the nation's capital in Washington, D.C.